Okay guys, welcome to the first video of 2023. It's been a while. I think the last one was in the beginning of December. I've been super busy with a lot of things. Um, so, and then the, the, the festives and uh, I've been traveling a bit. So yeah, this is the first video of 2023. Before we, jump, before we jump in, I want to remind you to hit the subscribe button, the like and engage on what we're talking about um, because this is what it's all about so we really appreciate your engagement and your support um, today we're gonna talk about the AI lawsuit that is happening at the moment which is fresh 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 um, the lawsuit on not AI AI arts the lawsuit is exclusively on the lion model um, specifically stable diffusion um, I really feel intrigued to share my perspective. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so first and foremost, I'd like to thank another collaborator, another AI artist who's uh, done already a video, an extensive video on this article, Olivio Saricas. I will leave the description down below. And this is his channel. Super nice guy, super informative um, tutorials and an amazing artist. I've, I've been following him for a long time now. Um, yeah, so it would be nice to support the guy as well. Um, but the thing today is this. We filled a lawsuit challenge stable diffusion at 21st century college tool that violates the rights of artists. So my first um, take is, yeah, this this is the, the for me, the inevitable is finally happening. Um, keep in mind, the thing is on stable diffusion so the lawsuit is not on ai arts per se it's this stable diffusion model which is from stability ai in fact if you read the the article which i will leave of course the link down below um for instance dali is not mentioned anywhere so the lawsuit against stability ai which is the company that has stable diffusion right and DeviantArt, I don't know how DeviantArt came into this because DeviantArt just a couple of months ago, um, they released um, uh, their diffusion models, which is based on stable diffusion and Midjourney as well. And mid, as, as far as I know, so I could be wrong, but Midjourney only used the stable diffusion model for a couple of months last year where they were testing whether to integrate or not, but most probably they're using the same data set. So that is why in my opinion, um, my journey is, is included there. So yeah, my point is to start with that this is an, a, a, a stress test period. Um, like any other new technology or any new ideas, um, we, we see the same thing going with the blockchain, with the NFTs, with the crypto, you know, and anything that comes new into into our civilization and our so, so social structures, especially when it challenges the, the establishment, um, is going to create a bit of um, noise. In this case, it's creating a lot of noise in the art industry and in the art communities. Uh, from my perspective, of course, the first, to be honest, the first thing is like, um, yeah, I don't like what's happening. So I would uh, prefer that things would have been a bit more amicable and not going through lawsuits and all these kind of things but if you've seen other videos that i've made i keep um, ranting about mindsets and the level of mindsets that we are operating from at the moment clearly are as uh, we can see we, can, we clearly can see it's like we need to go to these kind of lawsuits and debating and all of these kind of things rather than going for for a peaceful way from the beginning um nonetheless um, I feel, and it's not my feeling, but this technology is here to stay. So, and anything that is here to stay for a long time, some sort of regulations and some sort of clarification 
needs to be established. And this is the first one of most probably more to come. Um, so that's one, my first point um, being done. Um, there was something that really interested me. Yeah, this is like, as always, media and uh, when we get into these kind of uh, spaces, let me put it this way, um, they're assuming a nominal damage charge of $1 per image. The value of misappropriation would be roughly of 5 billion, since of course, on, on that's the roughly um, uh, amount of images that has been generated with the stable diffusion mod, um, model. And they are comparing it with the largest heist art heist ever in the 1990s, theft of 13 artworks from the Isabel Stewart Gardner Museum with a current estimate value of 500 million. So we can see that, um, yeah, the, the, the usual um, media boosting of things to kick a bit of more drama. So we make things a bit more interesting and all these kind of things, which is okay to a certain extent. Um, yeah, but it is what it is by the end of the day. So what interests me here as well is the problem with the diffusion. I mean, I see there. I, I see the point. I see the point. Um, but how in reality things turn out to be in my experience working with AI models, mid journey and my my main tools are mid journey and, and stable diffusion and Jux, which Jux has nothing to do um, uh, with these kind of models. It's a it's a it's a completely different system. Um, the diffusion that it's like replicating their, their their argument is that they are replicating the exact images and no matter how much the ai is tuned and far far better than a human being it never reproduces i i it's like i have trouble if there is an image that i've created and I recreated with the same seed and the same settings, it barely gets close to the exact other image. So the the idea here, um, I have difficulty um, with this to say that this is the uh, th that the argument is is valid. But again, I'm not the judge, and I'm I'm just sharing my my perspective. They have a point. They have a point. Um, but I think the the way that they're going for it, I don't think that this is their strongest point because by the end of the day, in in the reality of facts, is like no one no one is recreating the exact images of anyone, you know. So, and even if someone is doing it, it would be Joe from um, the middle of nowhere, and it, it's like, and he will post it on his Facebook. So big big deal. You know, um, coming to this point, it's like what strikes me is that it's okay for a human being to reproduce your art, but if it's AI, no. And that, that baffles me a bit, you know? And uh, on the topic, there is this guy, Poco, who has, um, who has a, a really nice channel that I've been supporting and following. He's a traditional artist. He's an amazing artist and an illustrator. Um, and uh, he has um, one particular conversation with one of the ladies, which is, let's find it here. These are the artists, this lady here, Carla or Carla Ortiz and he has a conversation where she's giving her opinion and she has super valid points um most importantly for me i like poco his his open mindset and and his clarity about things and the neutrality that he's coming from so i would suggest that anyone who's interested i will leave the link as well Anyone who's interested in this topic, um, 
watch this this interesting conversation because there are some really 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 good um points and arguments uh, yeah so going back to this article funnily enough there's only three only these three people these three artists and uh, they're relatively young um that they are pushing on this this lawsuit then there was another technical thingy here yeah the whole the whole thing is and i think there 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 is hugging face as well um into the argument as well um but mainly they're against the where is i saw it somewhere the lion hugging face thing under the gun. and this is where they're the defendants right stability ai Founded by Imad. Imad, I, I speak to him on uh, on Discord for a couple of months last year when I was asking him. He said, "These guys, they have a really, really, really good good heart, and the the space that they're coming from, I, I support them completely." So, uh, nonetheless, this lawsuit is happening, and it's a good thing that it's happening, as uh, my friend Olivio. Sarika said um, it will bring clarity, it will bring some regulation and it will diffuse the the hot arguments that there are at the moment. I don't think that in general there will always be these artists that are for me with all the respect super huge ego inflations where they seriously believe that AR is going to destroy art and um, we've been going through these cycles over and over and over again like the last one was the last two were the when photography came in and the other one was the digital arts so and this is another iteration of the whole of the whole plot as far as i know um styles and i had conversations with with some uh, even streams with with lawyers um you can't really copyright an idea or a style you can copyright the the ultimate expression for instance the image or the the sound whatever is the expression now my difficulty here is two in reality so if they destroy let's say let's they de de destroy the lion yeah first and foremost um i don't know of artists who are replicating images of other artists you know so especially on a professional level where they sell and they create nfts or some sort of other expression and they sell it it's like um as far as i know right and the other one is at the moment there's so much technology out there like even if they destroy let's say let's erase the lion data set right today through dream boot and 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 other training methods like I train my own models, right? So on my own images, mixed with other images, with mixed with photography that I take and and all sorts of styles. So I don't know exactly what they're going to accomplish by this whole thing. Um, I wish them luck, of course. Um, but the in my in my humble opinion, I mean AI definitely is here. AI art is definitely here to stay. And, and um, I really hope that, and I trust that stable diffusion will come out of this um, in the most peaceful way. And on the other hand, as well, the artist, they will find some sort of resolution, maybe some sort of compensation, or maybe they want to get out of the, the data set, or they want to destroy the whole data set. But keep in mind exactly, for instance, stable diffusion, they don't make their money from stable diffusion per se stable diffusion is an open source they make their money from training models for high-end companies um something that to keep in mind as well that the ball started rolling and it's rolling now at a high speed so you have adobe the uh, adobe and all those other big companies they're for sure they're training their own models and for sure they're looking into the 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 ai um plugins and how to integrate it in their systems and uh, yeah i mean it's, it's for me there's a 
there's a bit of an irony in it because it's like there's there's a lot of sides to it so there's the side that as long as from what i i hear and from what i follow um there's a side that ai is going to destroy art so there's the moral like a moral um intervention for the for the sake of art right then there's the the copyright and the ip infringements and then there's the guys like me who vouch and advocate for for more development of these these tools because we see them as tools and that's the way it is like some another olivio had, had a really 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 good point like the tool dictates what you achieve right um it doesn't matter how much um i'm a pro or on which level i'm 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 using the particular tool um the tool has its limits or its functions and so forth so if you're painting with a with a certain brush that gives you a certain brush strokes whether i paint with it or someone else paints with it the brush strokes are the brush strokes that is is going to produce if you're going to use certain mediums and other mediums the the reaction how they dry and how they converge on the canvas they're different so and for me the way i see ai art is the same thing the only way the only difference is that is maximizing and it's opening new 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 borders and um yeah reach having a bigger reach of styles and infusions and all these um beautiful expressions and the other thing is that it's accessible for a lot of other people this is one thing that um and this is where egos for me comes in you know um i i already said in in, in uh, previous videos that even me as an artist as a as a digital artist vfx and 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 i i used to paint traditionally as well um abstract styles um when i got to know and i saw ai what it can do the first my first reaction was not oh wow how beautiful and yes that was there but stronger than that was my insecurity of oh shit this is going to make me redundant um so fear is the first emotion that came um yeah then you go through your process and you analyze a bit what's happening here and and if in in my case i decided to to look at it as a as an opportunity rather than a threat i don't see it as a threat it is not a threat by the end of the day it is only a threat if i make it a threat so and that for me i think is in this in this whole um conundrum and this is not just for the ai arts but ai in general because it's really challenging our social systems our mindsets our belief systems and practically is challenging everything that we know so far about ourselves and the way we interact um which is which is super exciting because it's making us grow you know and it it's it's challenging as i'm saying it's challenging us to the core and from the conversations that i have from with friends even at when we're eating or on all on all levels not just art i mean it's super interesting i mean and one thing that it it pains me a bit that most of the conversations are infused with fear you know and i'm i'm one of those believers that um, from fear we're gonna keep creating a bunch of fear and more fear so i don't think this is the 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 way forward and i keep advocating for changing our mindsets in a, in whichever way that is possible for us but i think the calling here for each individual at the moment um it's exactly that how to upgrade ourselves how to be neutral and not judge stuff by the cover or based on what other people are saying um just we do our own research get into it feel it and see what it gives you i mean one one thing for me is like i'm super happy that for instance someone i've been having a conversation 
with, with a friend and he's doing a retreat and he wants to create a, an image and he would like to create it himself. I could do it for him, but he has the desire to create it himself. And he's asking me, is it possible for me to find an AI to generate an image that represents my retreat and use it as a PFP and a, and, and, and a poster cover? Of course, I helped him to find the the link for mid journey and but the possibility that this is 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 making it possible for other people that usually traditionally they couldn't express themselves in in a photographic or in a image based way today can they can do it and that for me is super a super good man you know it's like the more people express themselves the better it is so in, in, in for for a variety of reasons um so that's for me where i say um okay this is an ego battle you know it's like I, at some point it as much as we say okay there's the we want to save art and all these uh thingies which all right but by the end of the day i'm always smelling ego man you know it's um it's uh, yeah so that's that's my honest opinion and i'm putting it out there um please engage with the with with the comments if you agree or you don't agree um that's why these things are for um uh, yeah and i think for today i've made my uh, my perspective clear um yeah i'm gonna leave the the links for uh, for the article the article is really 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 good um, I must say, and I'm gonna keep following this thing to see where it goes, and let's see what the future brings. In the meantime, if you're not into AI art, I encourage you to get to know about AI art and dip your finger into it and express your your way and try it. And if you are into AI art, keep on creating. For now. Thank you for watching and another gentle reminder to subscribe, like and engage. And if you're willing to share with other friends, that would be amazing. Until next time, enjoy.